see every purchase is emotional to a certain extent and again that is where the central theme of this conversation is education so we tell our clients not to be emotional if we are working with a couple for instance one of my most favorite lines to always say is you both are married to each other don't get married to the apartment because this is an investment we don't want to think emotionally this is not where we want to put roots down this is not where we want to grow our family our objective of this purchase is to make money whether that money is coming through buying and resell or buying and renting or buying and doing short term rentals is secondary but the prime objective is to make money and you will only make calculated decisions when you leave emotions out of the picture and that's our job as real estate agents to educate our clients yesterday i was uh, at a developer's office and um, the developer's representative said something very nicely zoeb was with me and she says uh, you know the trend that i have seen in dubai is that 80% brokers in dubai are controlled by their clients and she says you guys are one of the 20% who actually controls your clients well not control but um, who are able to take the decision who are able to yes who's not guided by the client who guides the client and that made me feel really happy because at the end of the day that is what differentiates a good broker from an average broker i know my industry so well that i know that in this project this is what is going to make money for you versus that like when i was working with a developer i remember only selling one bedroom apartments probably in my first month the maximum number of units that i have sold with that developer have been three bedroom apartments and mind you to investors because that is where i felt that they would make the maximum money and they agreed with the vision that i showed them and today they are sitting on those kind of profits so don't shy away from recommending a product but you will only be able to recommend a product when you know the product like the back of your hand again education is key i can convince you about something if i know the ins and outs of it i can handle every objection that comes my way regarding a particular development that i am offering to my clients only when i know the ins and outs of that development and we have actually done this you know when i was working developer uh, my manager who's also a wonderful friend of mine so every time that developer launched a new site we would literally drive down to that site and we would spend 20 minutes surveying the site and surveying what was in the vicinity and finding out from our sources and our peers and colleagues in the market uh, what ready property in that area was selling at what other developers in that area were selling at what was the general trend in that market in terms of rentals and based on that we would study and structure the development and say that okay for, for from this perspective this is a unit that we need to focus on or this is the the unit that stands to make the maximum money that was when i was working developer technically i was not required to do this because technically when i'm working developer it's the broker's job to know all this right but when when i talk in terms of brokerage again it's the same thing every time a new project is launched that we seriously work on zoeb and i have done this we have literally gone into the desert we've taken our nissan patrol and driven into the desert when everything has been at ground zero studied what is coming up how it's coming up what's in the vicinity and then been in a better position to do that advisory so if you see when we talk to our clients the only reason why we are able to guide them is because i'm not just telling them what the 90 other brokers are telling them because 90 other brokers are telling them this is the brochure this is the amenities uh, this is the developer and you know uh, this is the aesthetics and the building is going to have xyz number of floors and so on and so forth and the payment plan is amazing and it's an upcoming area upcoming location you will make capital appreciation you will make roi but based on what that is research that we do on our own we actually take the time to study the market when i know that you can ask me about any development that i offer to my clients or i recommend to my clients and i can tell you the ideal unit to consider in that development not just that look at a one bedroom or look at a two bedroom but i can actually tell you 
that this is the series that we need to look at. And why is that series the best series in that building? And I can tell you the optimum number of floors where I want to consider that unit. But I know that because I've put in my research. And if you're not going to bother doing that, then you're going to be guided by your clients. You're not going to be doing the guiding.